in a very long time ago, there was a myth. There was a legend about ancient civilization. I'm talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. And it was a fisherman, a fisherman uh, species. Well, they were fishing the whole day. That was their profession. And the parents, they were educating their children that they could not fish into a certain pool. There was a pool close to the village, um, surrounded by these, by the high grass, you know what I mean? Like this pool is this, this dark pool. And uh, the parents were educating their children that they could not fish into that pool because there was a, a snake. It was a dangerous snake. And if it bit you, you were poisoned and you're gonna die. So nobody wants to fish there. But the time goes by and thousands years, decades, decades, the, the, the story transformed, you know, people telling stories to each other. It, it, it completely transformed into a snake, a big snake, a snake with, with two heads, a monster. Each time you were near or each time you were trying to fish, it's going to tear you apart. You know what I mean? It's going to completely clap your cheeks. And as of today, nobody actually fished into that pool because nobody, nobody, nobody was brave enough to go out there and to check for themselves if there was even a snake or a monster or a dragon. But little do they know that inside of that pool was a lot of fish. It was rich of fish because nobody fished there. And on top of that, the bottom was completely covered with gold. So you can imagine that the person that was brave enough to go out there and explore that pool, which everybody told not to go there because it's dangerous. The person that was brave enough to explore and fish would completely change his life. And that story basically teaches something today also, right? Because today we are so fed up with the narrative of the world, right? Especially as programmers. Because I remember the day that I first started programming, first learned how to program a very, very long time ago. And just open up an editor and I could write anything I want. The way I want it, the patterns I wanted, if there were already patterns that day. And everything was okay. And it felt so fucking good. Because I could do what I want, and I came to my solution, I came to something on my screen, and I was so proud of myself. I was happy. But today, we're getting so much influence from all that social media. People telling us, and closing a lot of gates, closing a lot of exploration paths, because they are apparently bad practices or not idioms. There are better ways to do that. Don't do this, don't do that. OOP is bad. Globals are bad. ORMs are bad. And I think that it's evolving in such a state that we cannot be creative anymore because a lot of these exploration paths are closed. We cannot think certain ways anymore because they are bad practices. I want you to basically forget everything you learned, forget every influence, and just be free. Just like I was 16 and opened up my first editor. I think it was NetBeans and I could do what I want. I was free. Let us be free today. Let's go. Based on framework on GNet. Me, myself, you could call me some kind of a low-level engineer. I do a lot of low-level stuff also in my day job. So I care, I really, really care a lot about performance and speed. If you watch me, if you watch my videos, or my live streams, if we make these things, like Hollywood, for example, I try to make it as fast as possible. Every single millisecond I can make my benchmark better, I will grab that opportunity and I will grab it today. People are too focused in the wrong direction, especially in Golan for all these frameworks. They are focused at, hey, there are already 1 million web frameworks out there for Golang, Fiber, Gen, Buffalo, right? So the only way they can differentiate themselves from these frameworks is to, because like I said, there is a snake in the pool, so they cannot explore these pads, they are closed, right? All these pads are closed. There's one pad open, and that's the pad of performance which is actually the path we don't need. We don't need performance anymore. Because if you think about it, we are in a web context. We are not in the context of advertising brokers. We are not in the context of trading engines. We are not in the context of these high speed, low latency programs, right? We are in the context of the web where the human eye cannot detect anything below 100 milliseconds. So if you have a framework that 
is super high speed with all other problems that comes with it and that can do a request for 30 milliseconds but you come with another framework that does a request for 80 milliseconds which is actually twice as slow nobody cares right nobody actually gonna notice this nobody the bottleneck in the web does not come from your framework the bottleneck in the web sits here in your way of thinking the majority of your startups for the majority of projects that are being built they are being built with way too complex technology for what it's actually going to do just because it's a popular technology just because Theo is doing that just because Netflix is doing it or just because Twitter is using it they are going to also use it because they think oh then we are then we are good for the rest of the future but that's not true because you're shooting yourself in the foot think back 10 10 years ago where PHP Ruby was shining it was so easy if you are a back-end developer in C or in, in Golang or something do yourself a favor install Ruby on Rails real quick do it tonight just simple and try to make a simple app but very simple like a post thingy just to, to explore it's so fucking easy it's done in five minutes i don't need to hassle with my front end to to add users or to or to create pages it's all in ruby and then some html uh, with the template syntax and you're gonna say wow this is actually amazing turn on uh, a config parameter boom and you have a complete json thingy all, all set up but we are evolving to a complex world to solve complex problems which most of the people don't have most of the companies don't have these problems that's why I meant that story. That's why I started the stream with the story of the snake. People are not exploring a certain path anymore. Parents indicated that their kids could not go to that fishing pool because there's a snake that's going to kill them. But the lake is full of gold and the lake is full of fish. And there is no snake. It's the same thing, right? Everybody's telling us to use microservices. Everybody's telling you you need to use Next.js with React and TRPC and TRP whatever and, and GraphQL. <laughs> <laughs> that was nasty. Nobody's talking about it anymore. All these complex things because they forget to go back to these to these closed gates. And that's what I wanna 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 reopen. That JSON CTX API looks like GoFiber. Uh, I will I will say that JSON API looks like everybody else. Right? And before Fiber existed, I already made my framework, right? Look at this. Leafbox. Look at this guys. How many years ago? Eight years ago. Here. Can you see this? You can't. Here. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. Look at this. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Get. Post. Put. Delete. Head. Options. Wait, 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 wait. We are almost there. Wait for it. Damn, there's a lot of shenanigans. Jason! It looks like Fiber! No, it looks like what I made and they copied me. Yes, my friend. Eight years ago, Fiber did not exist yet. So don't say I copy. Beep. I don't copy people. I don't follow trends. I set the trend. People follow me. And now, after eight years, I don't see these frameworks evolving anymore. Because they all do the same fucking thing. Over and over. We have a context and we have a response. And That's what I'm... I think it's time that the godfather of the frameworks in Golang comes up with new stuff. Teach people how it's being done because nobody is willing to take the risk to go to the pond, to the pool where the snake is. But go to Weavebox, check it yourself, eight years ago, moi.